Hey guys, it's Jenny on the block and today I am at a very fabulous place called M Cellars and I already forget what you said. What city are we in now? Harpersfield Township. Harpersfield Township. It's near Geneva, I think. Um, so we're out here because the Cheese and Wine Fest is coming to Cleveland thanks to Taste CLE and I have a couple of special guests with me. Hi guys. Hi, the Jenny How are you? and everybody. <laughs> Hi. Um, okay, so we have Adam who is from Taste CLE, and we have Matt, who is the owner-operator of M Cellars. Absolutely. So, uh, Adam, why don't you tell us why we're A, here at M Cellars today, amongst all these beautiful barrels? Uh, biggest thing is, you know, we got this Cheese and Wine Fest next week, Thursday, October 18th, from 5 to 9 p.m., and we've got a bunch of wine, about 48 different wines, but obviously we're in Ohio and we're in Cleveland, so it wouldn't be proper if we didn't have some representation from the Cleveland, Ohio area. Yes. And I've known Matt and his family and M. Sellers for quite a while and absolutely love their wine. So mm. M. Sellers will be at our events. So we want to come out today and give people a little sneak peek of behind the scenes of M. Sellers and all that good stuff and talk a little bit about our event. Awesome. So uh, the event you said is the 18th. I know it's from 5 to 9 because my master plan is to be there. Good, good, good. Um, and I guess my question is, if somebody wants to buy tickets to the event, can they buy them right now or do they buy them at the door? Correct, we have tickets for sale right now. They can be purchased at tastesaley.com. They are currently at $50 a pop. It includes uh, 48 wines, 48 different cheeses, unlimited samplings, a glass of champagne when you walk in the door. Oh. There'll be some outside food vendors doing some sampling as well. Nice. Uh, so great night, sale does end October 14th. So if you wanna save the $5, please purchase by October 14th at tastesaley.com. Yes, and the, the promo code that we're using is FOX8, right? Yep, you'll, if you go there, you actually, if you do it today, you'll get, uh, by the 14th, you'll get the additional $5 off, so technically $10 off the door price, because our regular just kind of right through the 14th, but because we love FOX8 and you so much. Yeah, <laughs> I love it, I love it. All right, well, cool, so let's talk a little bit about M Sellers and what you guys do here in, in Ohio. Sure. So M Sellers, we've been open for about five years now. Actually, okay. almost six years. We okay. We opened the vineyards about ten years ago. We're a small, family-owned boutique winery, owned by myself, Matt, and uh, my wife Tara. Nice. So we, uh, I'm the owner winemaker. We have two young daughters that also enjoy the business, and uh, we just set out to make world-class wine local. Now, do the girls drink like amazing grape juice and stuff? They sure do. Their favorite <laughs> is Pinot Noir. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Now, you said there's a lot of different kinds of barrels that go into. Uh, making the wine. So, sure. um, do you want to? Can you Absolutely. show me some so of them? We have, we have some of our American oak right here. This is okay. our Canton Cooperage that started in Canton, Ohio. They're in Kentucky now. Oh, nice. Um, okay. These guys are from Hungary, and uh, we use primarily this is the bulk of our production. Okay. Uh, Zeppelin Barrels, a small family owned cooperage. And these are the heartbeat of our Cab Franc program French Terence Oak Barrels. Really, nice. really pretty. Okay, and then how did you get started in all this? Because I know. No. Um, <laughs> you weren't doing this your whole life. You weren't always. You didn't grow up on a winery, even though that sounds <clears throat> super fabulous and amazing. Yeah. Uh, you were in car. I was. Business. I was in the car business. I worked for Classic Volkswagen for a bunch of years. Okay. Uh, I bought a toolbox. Uh, the gentleman gave me a homemade bottle of wine, and that's what kind of got us really interested. And then traveling to Niagara on the Lake is what uh, you know what really what we aspire to be. Yeah. And that's bring that bring that experience right here. So, I love it. Yeah. And um, as far as the wines that you produce here, uh -huh. um, I know you were kind of naming off the different ones. So what kinds of, of wines are you making from the grapes that you're growing here? You no, know, we grow almost 99% of our wines are okay. estate grown. We have one non-estate wine at this point. And uh, uh, the signature wine here is Meritage. We're the first Meritage producer in Ohio. Ooh. And uh, we're still the only one that's growing the grapes and producing it. So it's a Bordeaux blend grown right here on the site, mostly yes. Cab Sauv. I love it. Absolutely. And how long, I know you already said this, how long have you guys been here? We have been uh, open almost six years. Almost six years, okay, awesome. Well, I know we were gonna kinda take a little walk around and see what else is going on. Before we go, are these all recently bottled bottles? So or? this is, we're on mostly 2017. Uh, we have a little bit of the 2016s left. We have okay. some Chardonnay, we have Pinot Gris, we have, <laughs> we have our Riesling, Meritage, all kinds of good stuff. It's yeah. our, very humble little warehouse down here. I love it. Uh, someone named Jenny says, hi, Matt. Jenny Cobb. Jenny, I know her. I went to high school with her. Awesome. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. She says hi. I, told her well, I guess I told her hello. Yeah, right? I will. <laughs> um, okay, and then what happens, so this is, this is obviously where barrels are. Where does the bottling happen? So bottling, we use a mobile bottling truck. He comes oh. in from the Finger Lakes. He oh. pretty much pulls a semi up with a bottling line in it. 
Wow. We took our tanks to his uh, his truck. It takes four of us to do it, and uh, wine in the one end and finished product out the other. It's awesome. That is awesome. Awesome. Wow. And he, does he come up just once a year for the he bottling? He comes up three times for us. Three times. Three. Okay. Yeah, we do about five thousand gallons each time. That's a lot of gallons. It's a lot of, in, two day, in a day and a half, it's, it's, it's a lot of gallons. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> All right, so what's going on outside out here? I know we walked kind of so past. Yep, yeah, so we can go into the production area. Mac, he's out there. He's helping. He's racking some tanks, getting all the all the recently fermented wine. He's getting it kind of off the off the juice and everything, off the okay. leaves. And uh, we're just getting everything now I've, bed after I've harvest. I've heard that with red wine, you leave the skins and all the stems yep. and all that stuff on. Is that we correct? We should do. Yeah, we do. We have someone here fermenting on the skins right now. We have Cap so It's over on this side. Okay. So we have Cap Sauv still fermenting. Um, all kinds of stuff going on here right now. <laughs> so this is the, uh, well, you see, we're just finishing up. We still got the pump and hoses out. Yeah. Cleaning up. But he just got done taking the, uh, taking the finished wine off and putting it in other tanks, and then we'll move it into barrel next week. Wow. That's so, so cool. Busy, busy. So busy it, time of year. it stays in these tanks for how long? Those will be probably another week or so. Another week or so? Yeah. How long have they been in there so far? We picked these about a month ago. Okay. About three and weeks you said you ago. used something for picking all the grapes. We use a mechanical harvester. Okay. We sure do. How does that work? Does it just like go so down the line and shake exactly, the grapes yeah. off? It drives right over the top of the trellis and it shakes the grapes and the ripe ones fall. Okay. That's how, we, that's how we harvest. It's really efficient. We can pick about eight to ten tons an hour if we wanted to. Wow. And it's quick. Okay. It's quick. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, and then over here, I know you said this is a press. So we got a press. We just got this this are year. Th wait, before we go, are these for stomping grapes right now? No, it's for one is for oh, okay. uh, cleaner and one is for sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> the old-fashioned way. I'm right. just checking. <laughs> so we're very, yeah, we're very, everything, everything here is about function. We have these since we opened. So it's, I love you know, it. Until it's run its course, we don't get rid of it. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, so, so what have, is this? This is our this is our press. So this okay. is out of Italy. We just got this this last year to hold about ten tons of grapes. White ten grapes. tons. It's made us incredibly efficient. Nice. And we can get through any pretty much any size run within one day. Okay. So it's, it's now awesome. with white wines, do the skins and stems stay on for that, or do they come off? They uh, no, they come off completely. So we we take them, we pump everything into the into the press, and then we go ahead and squeeze it, and then okay. you get just juice. Oh. So the reds are the ones that ferment in the skin. So it'll come out of the crusher here. Okay. And it'll go ahead and get pumped right into those tanks over here with that big door on the bottom. Gotcha. And those are the red wine fermenters, and they'll ferment in there for about two to three weeks. And we'll just do pump overs, which will circulate the wine over the grapes. That's how you get your extraction, your color, and tannin, and oh. all the good stuff that makes red wine red wine. You make sure it tastes delicious. <laughs> Absolutely. I like it. Well, and then I know back here, we actually, you guys have, your vineyards are like right here. Yep, vineyards are right here on site. So it's, uh, it's authenticity is something we preach. Love it. And uh, you know, I mean, really, it's probably the most farm to table thing you're going to put in your body. It's uh, it's grown right here, it's bottled right here, it's produced right here, and we pretty much touch it every every way, every every process here is done by us. It's incredible. I love so every, it. And everything here is hand planted by us as well. So it's. it's, it's and when you, this whole project is from the ground up. When you planted the grapes, how long did it take before you could have a harvest? It took about four years, three to four years, until we had viable harvest, and then after about five years, we opened the we opened the winery. So if you guys haven't been here before, it's gorgeous. I definitely recommend it. We're going to walk up here so we can kind of show off the winery. But tell me about some of the different grapes that are growing right here. So um, we, we came here about two weeks, two or three weeks post-harvest. But we have Riesling right here, the first 15 rows. And then right, right over here, you can see there's a uh, Pinot Noir we, we grow. Uh, just to the west of that, we have our Cap Sauv, we have Cap Franc, Merlot, Petit Verdot. Uh, heading down there, that goes in the Meritage blend that uh, that's our best seller. Yeah, and, and you said the Meritage blend is the that you guys are the only ones who do that. We're the only area. ones doing it, and we're the only ones actually growing the grapes. So we're the original uh, we're the oh. original Meritage Alliance producer in Ohio. Nice. So it's, uh, it signifies designates Bordeaux blends produced outside of Bordeaux. Awesome. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Cool. I love that. And so, did you build the building Everything. about six years ago? Building is six years old, yeah. This whole, I mean, like I said, everything here is from the ground up. There isn't much we haven't messed with, <laughs> except for the dirt. And even that, Smart. we bulldoze. <laughs> so we, we leveled that out, too. So, I mean, literally, everything on this land is from us. Love it's it. A, it's a startup. Literally a startup. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I know it's like a Thursday, so there aren't tons of people here right now, but I'm guessing this is pretty bumping on the weekends. It's crazy. Yeah, it's even, it? on the week even on the weekdays in the summertime, we're just past, just past the prime season on the weekdays. Mm -hmm. Get back in school. Yeah. 
I bet. So you're going to be the representative for Cleveland for the Cheese and Wine Fest that's coming, uh, thanks to Tay Um What other kind of things can people expect to see there, Adam? Um, we've got wines from kind of all over the world. I've got uh, a bunch of distributors from this area that are going to each be bringing in their own selection. So we'll have wines from Italy and Spain. Uh, we'll have wines from France, uh, California. Um, so it's really about trying to give people an experience where they can taste and learn about just about everything. Yeah. There's areas that, you know, a lot of people have never had wine from before. So <laughs> the idea of this is cheeses from around the world, wine from around the world. Um, and to give people like a really good, you know, a good idea of the things that they've maybe never tried before. Like, right. I think a lot of people are typically, a lot of times they gravitate towards Napa cabs and things like that. So we, yeah. want, to, we want to give them stuff they wouldn't necessarily go buy in a store. Sometimes they can't even pronounce names and you kind of get scared to like, I don't know how to say that. Yeah, I'm not going to buy it. So. The one white wine that we had, what was that called? Gewürztraminer. That was Gewürztraminer. <laughs> I still can't say it. It's a German grape. I'm going to try, I'm going to try and order it. I'm feeling I love the Gewürztraminer. You know what I'm saying, you right? You, you did really good. Oh, thank you. you. Really I just good. slurred my words together. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Absolutely. You made a whole new variety of <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So, well, it's... the vineyards look beautiful. Let's take a look at the tasting room. I want to give everyone the information on buying tickets again before I sign off. Awesome. Check it out. All right, so we have some people tasting. Hello everyone, Hi. you're on Fox 8 Facebook Hi. Live. Hey. I hope I'm not getting anyone in trouble. <laughs> she said she took a sick day. <laughs> All right, so this is the tasting room. It's beautiful. It smells lovely, like a winery should. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so when people come in, what would they do when they get here? Yeah, most people are just going to be tasting, just like these folks. I think they come in for the experience and really learn about our whole production. I mean, that's that's the whole point. That's what separates us from just a wine shop or grocery store or anything. You can, I mean, you can see where everything is made right here. This is it's authentic, you know. <laughs> we're the grower, we're the producer, we're the salespeople, and we're the representatives. This is, this and is you got us. the awards. Yeah. The awards, yeah. Oh, yes, there are awards. awards. I mean, they obviously know how to make good wine here. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. It is quite delicious, you guys. I would definitely check it out. Uh, the Cheese and Wine Fest coming to Cleveland, thanks to Tay Uh Adam's going to tell us a little bit more about what it is, where you can buy tickets. Yeah, just a little recap about it. It'll be next Thursday from 5 to 9 p.m. Uh, tickets are currently $50 a pop. You can use Fox 8 as the coupon code. It'll save an extra $5. Um, there'll be 48 different wines, 48 different cheeses, all kinds of other snacks to choose from, a little champagne when you walk in the door, uh, super great night, wines from around the world, cheese from around the world, an awesome representation of Ohio wines and M cellars. It's going to be super fun. You can buy tickets at tastecle.com. We've got some other cool events coming up that you will see on our website as well. Mm -hmm. um, next year, you're going to see the Ohio Wine and Beer Show, so it's really going to be about Ohio wines and Ohio beers, too. So oh, okay. we got all kinds of fun stuff planned up. But this nice. is all about next Thursday and having a great night of eating cheese and drinking wine. Oh, I can't wait. You guys, I, this is like one that I said I'm going to this for sure. Right now, you guys can see on your screen all the information, October 18th from 5 to 9. Uh, make sure that you guys check it out. It's over in, uh, it's in, sorry, people are coming in. It's great right here. Uh, it's a wine tour, everybody. Thank you, Tammy. Appreciate it. Matt, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye, guys.